everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You now listen to the whole to the program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostle of Faith Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as they're led by Minister Ishmael. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we thank you for this day. My God, we thank you for all you've been to us, Lord God, that thou art going to be. We pray thee, Father God, that your word come forth this day with power and demonstration. My God, will you ever help us, Lord God, to see thine eternal word. My God, open the blinded eyes that they may see. My God, open the deaf ears that they may hear. My God, even give those without understanding understanding, Lord Thou God, we help us, Lord, God, and look to you. My God, help us to understand that you're soon to come, Lord. My God, there's only one way to be saved. My God, we pray that thou will bless our hearts to receive thy word. My God, have a mind to repent of our sins. My God, a mind to be baptized in water in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, a mind to call upon your mighty name, Lord God, to fill our souls with the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, a mind to live right here in this present evil world. My God, a holy life, a sanctified life, in the name of Jesus Christ before all men. My God, we pray to you, Lord God, bless the sick, the shedding. My God, bless all those in authority, that we may live a holy and a sanctified life before all men, in the name of Jesus Christ, both now and forever, to the glory of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole to the program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to <clears throat> the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles of the Faith, excuse me, the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Pottsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs and calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Special announcement. For the benefit of those of you who would assemble and are concerned about knowing how to save yourselves, we have these special announcements. If it is the Lord's will, our great church appreciation services for our location, which is in Columbia, South Carolina, will convene here at the headquarters church in Hartsville, South Carolina at 2449, beginning on Tuesday night, December 3rd through Sunday, December 8th, 2013. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our service began each night at 7.30 p.m. And on Sunday evening at 3 p.m., our conclusion services will be held at our Columbia, South Carolina location, which is located at 1144 Olympia Avenue in Columbia, South Carolina. And also, if it is the Lord's will, Bishop Tisdale will be preaching at our church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which is located at 655 Northwest 12th Avenue in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Beginning on Friday night, December 20th through Sunday, December 22nd, 2013. Our service will begin on Friday night at 7.30 p.m. and on Saturday evening at 4 p.m. and again at 7.30 p.m. and on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. All the courts are invited to be with us in these great spiritual services in the Lord. Again, all these, if it is the Lord's will. Now, at this time, the choir will render a selection entitled, Sell Out to the Master right now.
Zion is indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We are thankful and do give much honor to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We do greet everybody, all of the saints of God throughout the world, even to every man, boy, child, whoever you are, we greet you with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are so glad that we have a name that we can call on, that we can be saved through the name of Jesus Christ. It tells us how and what we ought to do through the gospel. I thank God for this privilege. It tells me what I ought to, ought to do. Many people are mixed up in mind traditionally wise, and they don't understand that they are traveling on a way that's not going to permit them to go into the kingdom of God. Amen. So God's word is going out that you might understand that the only way we're going to make it in the Lord, we're going to have to change our lives. The eighth chapter of Isaiah, 35th, I'm sorry, of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Eighth verse. And God knows what you need. I want to try, I'm going to advise everybody, doesn't matter how you feel. If you believe that there's a God, I would desire from my heart of you to seek him while he can be found. Amen. See, we have to understand the human family has an awareness of God. You could be a great sinner, but you think, and you understand that there is a God. Amen. When you're doing wrong, you know it's a God. So after you know there's a God, I'm asking you, please seek him while you can. Amen. His name is Jesus Christ. If you call on him, you can be saved. Mm -hmm. You can be delivered Amen. by calling on the name of the Lord. Amen. If you have any misunderstanding today, God can clear your mind up and put you on a way that you're going to be saved. People, God only have one way. That way is through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And everybody have to walk the same walk, talk the same talk, obey the same word as you hear it. Why? God only have one spirit today. And that spirit is in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't want to see people lost. I want to see you saved. But I know in God's way, God only have one way. And that's the way that we need, the one way that God has for us. It's not two. It's not traditional wise as men has placed here. Many men have went out and done things because they couldn't get along with someone else, so they went out and established their own manner of doctrine. And, and they wrote it up themselves, they say from the Bible, but they're not following the word of God like they should, so they're not on the right road. Amen. They're on the road of destruction. That's right. Amen. These men, I've studied on them, that set up different churches out there, <clears throat> Methodist church, because they didn't agree with someone else, so they're going to go out and make another church somewhere mm -hmm. and call it right. Yeah. And it's not right. Yeah. Amen. And you love it. You love going to the Methodist church, A-M-E. I know you love it. You see, this is what granddaddy was in. Yeah. See, my granddad was the preacher. Mm -hmm. And my brother was the deacon. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You are in a church that you call that you're going to hellfire. Say, why Man. are you talking like this about these 
different people religion. God only had one way. Amen. God never set up a Baptist church. Never set up a Catholic church. This is after men's way. Yeah. And somebody means well to tell you. That's right. Amen. God only had one way. Amen. And his way is the holy way. That's right. You, you can't come on this holy way and commit adultery and fornication. No, Don't no. care what your preachers say. He's going to be lost. Yeah. He's got to bring his own body under subjection Amen. to the word of God. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. One way. And you can't be a lie on this way. Cannot. You can't be a midnight gambler. Amen. You can't do it. Somebody may as well tell you before you die, hear the word of God. Is that right? Amen. What the word say here, read it. Isaiah 35 and 8. All right. And an highway shall be there. Yes. And a way. And a way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. Don't look down on holiness. Oh, every church that call themselves a holiness church is not right. Truly. Amen. Amen. God only have one holy church. And, and you have to let God lead you in this. You, you're not going to choose what God have for you. Amen. God have to call you, unordain you. Yeah. When we see what's in Christ Jesus, we don't want it. Amen. You don't need nobody come here and tell me you want it. God have to draw you in. Yeah. Now they say when you're in sins and trespasses, God quicken us. Yeah. Jesus Christ call us into the church. Surely, surely. Is that right? Amen. He's the one that call us into the church. Yes, you did. Say so you ought not talk about these out. Well, it's a false church, so I may as well tell you, it's false. Amen. If it's not in the name of Jesus Christ, it is false. Yes. And it doesn't have to be your opinion. It's God's opinion. Amen. It's a way, all right. That's right. It, it is a Baptist, Methodist, Catholic. Amen. Is that right? And it shall be called the way of holiness. Way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. Do you hear what the words say? 